Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're watching lately, I added a resin printer. Friends, if you're going to use resin, you've got to have a way to cure it. I snagged a box that let me do that, and it's time to assemble it. So let's get cracking. Friends, when the parts arrive, make sure you take them out of their little storage areas and find the numbers. You can see two, three, one. I'll set those close together because that's where we start. Five, four, and then finally, six. So I'm gonna move these a little further over so we have room to play. And we're gonna start playing with number one and number two. The first thing I wanna tell you is that goes down, so this goes up. The number one will connect just like this. If you put the hole here and then connect this in, and friends, those tabs stick in like that. And then this is perhaps my favorite thing, is these little rubber bands simply go over those little hooks and hold them in place. Bingo. Bango. So if you look closely, that is now relatively secure. Let's get the second side, making sure the wire goes underneath. We'll put the little clips through. And then this simply clips over and slides back down in. Do that for the remaining ones. Now that I've got one in place, it's easier to tip it. Clip and stretch, clip and stretch. This one I tore, there are extras, so that's fine too. And one more down here. With those fastened, let's clip this in place. And now friends, let's attach side number four. It just goes up top. Once again, make sure you put the label on the inside. Notice that just rest on top. With slide four in place, I can turn it over and now we can easily slip that on and rubber band it all in place. Before you get the front too tight though, we're gonna put in the door. So I'm just gonna do the bottom one. And then friends, the door just clips in just like that. And I'll finish buttoning it up. Friends, just like that, you have assembled a resin curing box. How slick is that? It also comes with an inline timer and a power brake. So let's connect it up. So if you read the labels, this is the inside. So I'm going to plug this to my power brake. And you can see now it is connected. And then I'm going to connect the out to the box. When you first turn it on, it'll be set for 300. I was just experimenting, trying different numbers with mine. Uh, you just hold it till you get where you want. So if I do 355 and then I hit on off, you can see that it turns that lovely shade of blue and inside that little part is spinning and curing. Note it does have a safety switch. If you open it up, it does shut off and the light does not continue. If you close it, it comes back on. So friends, it was super easy to assemble, about 35 bucks on Amazon. I will have a link in the description. I've cured a few items. I do not know the exact number for the small things I was printing, but I'm going to try and figure those things out and I'll keep adding information as I learn more. Once again, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.